Futurist and author Arthur C. Clarke once said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. This past year, when I was at CES in Las Vegas, I found a company that kind of fits that bill. They have a piece of equipment that generates pure drinking water from air without any outside power or any other things to install. So of course, given our current pandemic going on in the world right now, I thought, can this technology reliably and economically bring you and your family pure drinking water and help you avoid the lines at Costco? Let's free the data. The idea on this channel is to help you save money and the planet at the same time. And given what's going on in the world right now, I thought this video would be really great to kind of share with you something that I've been digging into and actually testing out for the past few months. Remember when Flint, Michigan had that terrible water problem and there wasn't drinking water, it was coming out this brown, yellow, and the officials were saying, it's fine, it's fine, but it turns out it wasn't fine and people were getting really sick from it. Well, that was 2014 and today, 2020, it's still going on. People in Flint, Michigan still do not have reliably safe drinking water coming out of the tap there. That's insane. And especially in the wealthiest country in the world, it's something that we should be able to avoid. Here in the United States, we don't really think twice about our water, but believe it or not, there is a huge percentage of people in this country that do not have reliably safe drinking water. In fact, clean water is a right under international law and the UN declarations, yet in the United States, it's far from guaranteed. More than 30 million Americans live in areas where water systems violated safety rules at the beginning of last year. This is according to data from the Environmental Protection Agency. So this has led many Americans to buy bottled water. In 2017, the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the nation's drinking water infrastructure a rating of D, which when I went to school was considered failed and assessed that the United States needs to invest $1 trillion in the next 25 years for upgrades. And of course, with more water bottles out there, it is more plastic, which creates more plastic waste, which leads to pollution that hurts all of us. We're all familiar with the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and the latest estimate is that it is 1.6 million square kilometers in size. That makes it more than double the size of Texas. Now, this tech, which comes from zero mass water, may be able to reduce all that plastic, to improve the water quality, and to really save people's lives. But it's not easy. When I first saw these panels, which are called hydro panels from zero mass water, they're called source hydro panels, I thought it was a glorified dehumidifier. It was something that would just basically cool the air to create humidity and then collect that. But those kind of systems require being connected to the grid and they take a ton of energy to produce, making them not very sustainable and not actually a great solution. The way it works is by raising the dew point inside of the box, the panel itself, and it does so using a solar panel that is installed inside of the system. So on top of it, there are kind of three sections. On the two far sides, you have the kind of water collecting sides, and in the middle, you have the solar panel, which actually generates all the power. All of this goes into a tank that it has in which it can hold 30 liters of water. And it does so without being connected to anything else. All you do is run a water line out of it, connect it to your spigot inside of your house or wherever you want it to be dispensed, and you've got pure drinking water. Pure drinking water from air. No other batteries or parts necessary. Magic, like I said. And this could have huge benefits for the 1.6 million Americans who don't have running water or communities where groundwater is polluted due to inadequate wastewater treatments. And interestingly enough, the water that it generates is completely pure, which tastes really weird. So they have this mineral pack to kind of give it more of a bottled water flavor. They add magnesium and calcium, which is what you typically find in the higher end bottled waters. That's why they have that kind of unique taste to them. So great. But what's the cost of this? Is this something that you could do in your house or is it something only for you know the richest of the rich? Well, first off, I need to say that none of this has been sponsored in any way by the company. I'm not affiliated with them. If you buy one of these after watching the video, has it doesn't benefit me financially in any way whatsoever. I actually purchased one of these systems for my own home just so I can do this video for you. And because I was really curious if it'd work. 
A typical installation consists of two hydro panels and costs between $5,500 and $6,500. Now this includes shipping and installation, but depending on where you live and depending on how difficult that is, the cost can vary a bit. For my house, I purchased two of them, put them on top of my garage, which was kind of crazy with the crane and everything. And this cost me just over $6,000, which did include the panels, shipping it out from Arizona where the company is based and the installation at my home. The setup here produces between two and eight liters liters of water per day. And for us Americans that don't understand that number, that comes out to about two gallons. If you think about how much water you and your family drink, two gallons is kind of a lot, uh, depending on how many people there are in your family, of course. For me, a family of four, but two of those being young kids, it's more than we drink in a day, for sure. So if I wanted to compare my local grocery store, it would cost me about two to three dollars per day to buy this much water. But of course, I don't need that much water. And if I wanted to go bottled water, it would cost around nine dollars per day. So, you know, it's not nothing, but it's not a huge amount on a daily basis. And of course, if I just drank tap water, which is kind of the point here that, you know, it's not available everywhere, it, it would be much cheaper. So I'm gonna exclude the concept of just, you know, forget it, drink tap water. So if we extrapolate out those costs and do the comparison here, it would take 8.21 years to pay back using the gallons of water being purchased from the grocery store and 1.82 years if we drank nothing but bottled water. And remember, for millions of Americans, drinking that tap water is not an option, so they have to go one of these routes. In fact, one study I found from the Environmental Finance Center at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill says that in every state across the country, there are individual access challenges ranging from the lack of household running water to fecal contamination from individual wells, and there are community access challenges ranging from water and wastewater bills skyrocketing to lead service lines still running into the homes of individuals all over the country, despite the grave health risks of lead poisoning. And in fact, that lead issue is actually what's still going on in Flint, Michigan. The thing that they're having an issue with is that even though they can maybe switch over the water treatment and the water coming out is fine, to get to the home, it still has to go through these really old lead pipes. So the cost to upgrade that infrastructure is massive. These panels are warranted for 15 years and require about $100 maintenance every five years to replace the air filter and mineral cartridge. So across the 15 year time span, you're looking at about $6,300 total for up to two gallons of pure drinking water every single day for your family. Now, if you were to compare that to the gallons of water, buying it from your grocery store at $2 per day times 15 years, you're looking at $10,950. And then the bottled water side, $9 a day times 15 years, $49,275. So across the warranty of these systems, and they'll probably last for longer than that. We don't know. We don't have longitudinal data on it entirely yet. You're going to save a fair amount of money, which is great news. So from a personal finance standpoint, yes, these will save you a good amount of money over 15 years. Now, whether or not you stay in that same place for 15 years is up in the air, depending on your situation, obviously. But even if you were to move, this could be a cool selling feature of your home, like having solar. So after thinking about all this stuff, my family, sustainability, the cost, the health, I thought it made sense. And that's when I decided to pull the trigger and order one for myself. The installation process was pretty simple. They shipped out the units in a truck with a couple guys. They assembled them in my driveway, and then they had a crane come lift them onto the roof of my garage. They did that because each one weighs around 350 pounds, and it was just the easiest way to get it up there. All in, the install took about five hours uh, with two guys and was pretty seamless from my standpoint. I didn't really notice anything other than my neighbors stopping by to ask what the heck this crane was doing and what were those things. But other than that, it was pretty harmless and easy for me. After getting them on the garage, we angled them so that they would kind of maximize the sunlight exposure. And about 10 a.m. is when it starts and it goes until the sun goes down over the coastline there. And during that time, as the sun's hitting it, they turn on and they start generating water from the air. 
As they're running, they're collecting the water inside of each unit. One just pumps water into the other one as needed. And in total, this system can hold in it potable water up to 60 liters. In addition, there's an app that you can check the status. You can see kind of how things are going and how much water's in there, but they're not perfect. And the technology is improving every day. In fact, they have new panels coming out in a few months that maybe when they do or when they're out, I'll have a go look at them and give an update here. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But there are a couple things that have been issues for me. So let's kind of just talk through those now. So if you go this route, you're aware. The one most notable issue I've had is the noise from the panels when they're in operation. Here, have a listen. When these are running, it's quite loud. I mean, just even out on the sidewalk in front of my house, you can hear it. Now, thankfully they've created or have installed a feature called quiet mode, which does reduce the amount that the fans are running, which reduces the amount of water it produces, but also it tones down the noise but it's still not silent. It's still something that you can hear if you're you know, all the way towards the, the end of my driveway. And the second issue I found is that there are these mineral packs that they put inside of the units as well as underneath the sink. And those add kind of a funky taste for the first, honestly, like two to three weeks. It had a taste to it, which was just kind of a, kind of citrusy. It was kind of odd, but uh, it's something that has since subsided, and so it's not an issue now, but it does suck that right when you get it installed, the first taste of it is kind of a jarring experience. It is fine to drink, but since you added that mineral pack, it's just a lot of minerals coming when you first do it. And one question I had is whether or not it would work on drier days. I live in San Diego where the average humidity year round is between 20 to 30%, sometimes more, sometimes less. And it turns out any time above 10% humidity, it's going to work fine. And you would know that because the company themselves are based in Tempe, Arizona, which is right outside of Phoenix, one of the driest parts of the United States. Now, there is one climate though that it doesn't work in, and this is a big bummer. That's when it freezes. When it freezes, the panels go into hibernation mode, and that doesn't just stop the operations of generating and collecting water, it also stops you from being able to access the water. The pumps and everything are just completely shut off. So that's a real big bummer, especially if you live in a place where it snows a lot or a good chunk of the year. I mean, that is a, a millions and millions of people, to be clear, that can't use this because of that. And speaking to the company, they are talking about ways to solve that with future versions, and they do have a new panel coming out. So we'll see. But right now, if you live in a place that it freezes on a regular basis or you know for a good chunk of the year, unfortunately, I don't think these are gonna work very well for you. But when you think about places like California that experience drought on a regular basis or Arizona and a, a lot of the Southwest United States or other parts of the world, Mexico, this could be a huge cost savings and you know just really life-saving technology that is gonna help millions of people have pure, clean drinking water without needing the huge investments in infrastructure that it typically would take. So overall, I like it. It'll help you save money and it'll help you save the planet. And it'll help you avoid those lines at Costco, especially during, you know, kind of health crisis like we're going through right now. Now, if you'd like to dig deeper, I did find an episode from SciShow where they dig into an alternative to this approach for desalination. That's taking the salt water out of the ocean to make drinking water and stuff. So go check that out if you wanna kinda of go further down this rabbit hole. It's a really interesting video, and of course they do a great job. So what do you think? Would you get one of these for your home? Do you, do you own your home? Do you live in a rural area or suburban area? I mean, how would this work if you thought, hmm, could we install this in my building? Or, what, you know, just, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on this because I think it's a really fascinating technology that could literally save the lives of millions of people and save us all a lot of money. So really cool stuff and I'm gonna follow it pretty closely. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't and share this video with anyone that is curious about this because I installed this. I put my own money up to be able to do this so I can share this experience with you. So if you're curious and have other questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comments. Maybe do a follow-up video, we'll see. But as always, thanks for watching and don't forget, when you free the data, remind to follow. I'll see you guys back here in the next one.